Merry Christmas, Canada. Tis the season to gather with friends and family, to share moments and meals with loved ones, and to give thanks for the blessings in our lives. Whether you like him or not, Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has had politics in his blood, being the son of former Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau. Since he announced his separation from Canada's First Lady Sophie Trudeau in summer 2023, Justin's reportedly living alone with his three children at Rideau Cottage, one of his official residences. History seems to be repeating itself as he lived here with his father Pierre after his parents separated in 1977 and his mother temporarily moved to New York. 24 Sussex Drive in Ottawa was dubbed the original Prime Minister official residence since 1951. However, more recently renovations have finally began on the historic property after it fell into a state of disrepair. However, it might be too late for the four floor mansion and there are talks of it being dropped as an official residence and a new one being built. Well, today we're going to check out where the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau calls home and take a look into his life. Justin Pierre James Trudeau was born in 1971 in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada and clearly his upbringing, family life and current home reflect a unique blend of experiences that have shaped his journey. Trudeau was born into a political legacy, being the eldest son of former Canadian Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau and Margaret Sinclair. Growing up in the public eye, Justin witnessed the dynamics of political life since childhood. His parents' separation when he was only six years old, followed by his father's retirement, definitely showed a young Justin the impact a career in the public eye can have on the family. While Justin initially pursued a career in education and in environmental advocacy, he eventually embraced his political heritage. In 2008, he won the Liberal Party nomination for the Electoral District of Papineau, Quebec. His entry into federal politics marked the beginning of a new chapter for Trudeau. In 2013, he became the leader of the Liberal Party of Canada. When it comes to Justin's personal life, it has been a subject of public interest, especially with his marriage to Sophie Gregoire in 2005, a former TV host. The Trudeau family expanded with the arrival of three children, Xavier James, Alla Grace Margaret, and Hadrian Gregoire. However, there was trouble in paradise, and in summer 2023, Trudeau announced his separation from Canada's First Lady Sophie. Well, these days, Justin is reportedly living alone with his three kids at Rideau Cottage, one of his official residences. History seems to be repeating itself because he did live here too with his father Pierre after his parents separated back in the 70s. At this time, while well, his mom temporarily moved to New York, Justin and Sophie, who had been married for 18 years, announced their split via Instagram in August 2023 after having many meaningful and difficult conversations. While Sophie has officially moved out of Rideau Cottage and doesn't accompany Trudeau to official events anymore, she is likely living close by as they have been spotted together in the area with their son. Rideau Cottage is a charming red brick home, but it's definitely not as extravagant as the PM's other private residence, 24 Sussex Drive, where Justin actually grew up. Sadly, that property is full of problems and a new home for the Prime Minister might be needed. 24 Sussex was built in 1868 and is located in Ottawa, as you would expect of the Prime Minister's official residence. Its first three owners were successful businessmen and members of parliament. In 1950, the residence was purchased by the federal government of Canada and refurbished as an official residence for the Prime Minister. Traditionally, part of the house was reserved for the use of the Prime Minister's family, while the other part is where the PM welcomes official guests for public functions. The private area or family quarters consist of bedrooms, sitting areas, and other rooms to accommodate the PM's home life. 24 Sussex boasts 5.3 acres of land, one main building, and another smaller building at 10 Sussex, a pool house, as well as two security guard sections. The main building has 34 rooms and stands about 12,000 square feet, while the smaller building was originally a caretaker's house. Just last year, the federal government was looking at dropping the now dilapidated mansion at 24 Sussex as the Prime Minister's official residence, and they were actually considering several other sites in the city for a replacement. They didn't care that they already had started repairs on the home. They were still thinking about this decision. There were other plots of land being considered where they could build a bigger, safer, and more accessible residence than the one that served Prime Ministers from 1951 to 2015. 
after efforts to restore the historic home started in late 2022, they just might be too late. 24 Sussex was unoccupied since former Prime Minister Stephen Harper's departure from office back in 2015, but the building served as a workspace until 2022 when safety concerns prompted its closure. A thorough inspection conducted by the National Capital Commission in 2021 revealed the presence of asbestos, mold, lead, and a number of deceased mice behind the walls and in the cellar. Conditions were deemed so hazardous that the air within was reportedly no longer safe to breathe. There was even mold found in the pool and sauna area. Renovations could amount to a whopping $36 million Canadian. This would remove the hazardous materials and completely replace the mechanical, heating, and electrical systems. Property has been deemed a fire hazard due to its outdated knob and tube electrical wiring and further lacks any fire suppression system. The caretaker's house and pool building, built for Pierre Trudeau's mandatory daily swim, also need extensive renovations. Former First Lady Lorene Harper said the back porch of 24 Sussex was the best room in the mansion thanks to the views and the peaceful sound of rain on the metal roof. But she also described the home as extremely cold, even back when she lived there from 2006 to 2015. Justin lived at 24 Sussex already in his life when he was just a child alongside his two younger brothers, living here for the first eight years of his life and another four years in the early 1980s. Eight years ago, Justin Trudeau opted to claim the less extravagant yet charming Rideau Cottage as his main residence, which is where he currently lives. However, from a security standpoint, the abode is less than ideal. It apparently has clear sight lines from nearby buildings and also lacks metal roof plating to repel drone attacks. This 22 room Georgian revival home dating back to 1867 technically belongs to King Charles III as part of the Canadian Crown's ownership. Before relocating to Rideau Cottage within the grounds of Rideau Hall, the official residence of the Governor General of Canada, the Trudeaus had been renting in the Rockcliffe Park area of the city. Traditionally serving as the residence of the Secretary to the Governor General, the 10,000 square foot Rideau Cottage became their home. Trudeau has occasionally shared glimpses of Rideau's cottage interior on Instagram, showing rooms like the kitchen and the dining area during important meetings, such as discussions on climate action incentive rebates. Now, external meal preparation and delivery are common for prime ministers, and the kitchen at 24 Sussex served this purpose until it closed in 2022. During the pandemic, Trudeau, like many others, spent more time working from home, featuring his personal study and Instagram posts. The images show him behind a carved oak desk, surrounded by family pictures and bookshelves reflecting a mix of personal and professional moments. The vibrant interiors of Rideau Cottage are also clear, full of tasteful furnishings, including antiques, bronze sculptures, and a vibrant Keelum rug, as seen in posts by Sophie Trudeau. Despite Trudeau's third election win in September 2021, he's anticipated to reside at Rideau Cottage until at least the next fixed election in 2025. However, aside from politics, Trudeau is not short of living options, let me tell you. Given his reported net worth of Canadian $13.2 million as of 2021, it's said that the Trudeau family owns multiple properties across Canada, like Maison Cormier, his late father's residence, and a summer house in the Laurentian Mountains of Quebec. The question of which home will he choose for his retirement remains to be seen. For today though, that's going to wrap up our look into Justin Trudeau's homes and life. Before we go, answer this question for me. Do you think upwards of $30 million should be spent on restoring the official Canadian Prime Minister residence at 24 Sussex? Why or why not? I mean, if they build a new mansion, it's probably gonna cost the same or more anyways, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.